Okay, guys, so it's Sunday, February 5th, uh, and I think I'm near Santa Monica. Look at this old Ford truck. It's just so cool, isn't it? Um, and you know, and I, I think I'm near Santa Monica, because I'll tell you, Los Angeles is huge, diverse, incredible in a lot of ways. Um, and I don't, I don't know anymore whether I'm supposed to think of things like we're supposed to fix it, but I'm just going to show you some dichotomy here. Now. So here you have, this is a, I don't know what kind of car that is. BMW, a couple Teslas, they're all getting washed and waxed and shine. You have the people out here waiting. I don't know how much a car wash here costs, but probably a good bit. So they're all getting their cars cleaned up. That's a Tesla and, you know, beautiful. And then it's like, just come, this, I, think, I think this highway over here is the 405, okay? And uh, there's a guy out here, because I already drove this guy. So I, was like, so I was watching, and I was like, look at these cars getting polished up. And I just ran to a guy giving free haircuts. I posted that. This guy's advertising a, uh, uh, a, uh, a restaurant. Do it, look, firehouse, I think. Is that a restaurant? Let's listen to music. But what's interesting is, see, you see all the cars getting waxed and all the, you know, kind of the people, the haves, and then you kind of have the have nots just within a football field, right? And I, and I spend time talking with the homeless, and a lot of them, I mean, look at these cars just crunched together like this. Wow. Those are two of the same cars. Um, so this is just off the 405, I believe it's the 405. I'm just coming past it. And I talked to a lot of the homeless, and a lot of them, I think, frankly, are choosing it and want to be living this way. This guy's got all these trophies. So people are clearly living in here. And so I don't, I don't know how it works or how it's supposed to work. But I, some underlying feeling says to me, like, maybe you don't wash your car as much, and you, you come and take that and help some of these people out. Uh, because clearly there, there, there's something going on here. And I will say a lot of the homeless choose to be homeless. They want to be homeless. And I'm going to talk with them some more because it's just, it's, it's, this un it's this unfolding thing happening in America. And I was in Los Angeles, I guess six months or so, and it's exploded. It's so there's a place called Skid Row, which is down in like Los Angeles, and I did content from there. But now this is this is basically in Santa Monica, I think. So maybe someone knows where I am. I'm not very uh, versed in um, this area, okay? But it's uh, there's this is a nicer part of LA. How you doing, man? Because it's it is burnt out, man. On a cell phone though, right? So he's got a cell phone. So it's all just bizarre. This is what it looks like. I mean, just trash piled up. I mean, just look, just, just take a screenshot of that right there. So it's just, I always say it's apocalyptic. I mean, look, here, here's this slinky bus coming through, right? So there's, there's, there's city service here. The bus is running. This guy's looks like he's got some food here. I'm going I'm to I'm stop over and talk to him, I think.